And new tonight, the mother of Logan Mott has sent First Coast News a two page letter detailing her frustration about her son's treatment in the Duval County Jail. Mott is charged with murdering his grandmother, Christina French, last month. The 15 year old is being charged as an adult, but Carrie Campbell Mott says despite the charges, her son still needs and deserves proper care. Our Shelby Danielson is standing by with more. Carrie Mott calls the situation, quote, horrific. In this detailed letter, front and back, she says her son Logan, who is charged with murder, has expressed concerns over being freezing in jail and not receiving proper medical attention. On behalf of her son facing murder charges in 1,030 words, she says, quote, he says he is freezing, which is a clear sign his insulin is not being controlled properly. She says at 40 or below, is it 40 degrees? In there? I don't think it's 40 degrees. Okay. I think it's cold, but I don't think it's 40 degrees. Crime analyst Mark Bachman, formerly JSO, says calling it freezing is somewhat accurate, but he says it's purposeful. It's for a reason. It's for I mean, I've been in hospitals that have been really cold because they want to hold down the transmission of any type of illnesses, flu viruses. Having the lights on 24 seven has a purpose too. security reasons. I've been in Duval County Jail many, many times. I know that it is a strict, secure facility. Mott's mother says his diabetes puts him at risk, affecting his heart and brain if not taken care of. She goes on to say this is a serious medical issue and I will have no choice but to run it up the chain if I hear nothing back. Bachman says there is medical staff on hand at all times in the jail, but the insulin aspect, he says, could come up again. The defense attorney may run with that, saying that you know, he wasn't in his right frame of mind because he didn't have insulin and maybe he was insulin deprived at the time he committed the crime. He says JSO is very scrupulous with their inmate care, partly because of legal action. Could she file a lawsuit on his behalf? Sure she could. The sheriff accepts a huge burden because as far as lawsuits go, uh, that's probably the majority of the lawsuits that fall against the sheriff and the sheriff's officer are, are at the jail. Elaborating on her letter, Mott's mother tells First Coast News, quote, Logan should be in a smaller juvenile facility where his medical needs can be monitored closely and he will have opportunity to interact. Mott is being charged as an adult, so he's at the regular Duval County uh -huh. Jail. JSO says he's being held in isolation for his own safety. Duval County Jail, it's not meant to be the Holiday Inn or, or the Marriott. It's still jail. No one wants to be there. I get it. But there's a reason why you're there. Public defender of the Fourth Circuit, Charlie Kofer, is representing Logan Mott right now, and he says he's already discussed this with Logan's mother. He sent us a statement saying in part, quote, as a result of those conversations, I've had numerous discussions with the director of the jails about monitoring and handling Logan's condition. I have also been meeting regularly with Logan most recently yesterday evening. And as we know, Logan's father, who works in corrections at JSO, will be reassigned to avoid a conflict of interest. In the Information Center, Shelby Danielson, First Coast News on your side.